Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today I'm not going to teach you on any math lesson, but I'm going to teach you how to get the five tips on how to ace the NCA Math and Stats exam. Okay, there are five tips. So tips number one, figure out what you know and what you need to know. Tip number one, studying is meant to be hard and it's always in a human nature to put things you don't understand and do not like to the bottom of the to-do list, okay? So to do well in NCA, you need to spend more time on your weakness before practicing your strength, okay? So that is my tip number 1A, okay? Next tip, do lots and lots of past year's examination. They can be found in the NZQA website, okay? Go and search the topic that you want, for example, algebra level one, and they will appear, okay? And then you need to reflect on it, okay? You should do them, the exam papers, in the simulated exam situation. It means that you need to sit down for three solid hours with no phones, means there's no TikTok, no Facebook, no Instagram, there's no music or no snacking during the three hours period. So that is 1B, okay? So in the NCA and uh, Math and Stats exam, the question normally repeat itself over the years. They only change the numbers. So if you manage to do five years of solid exam papers, you should be fine, okay? So if you still don't get it, okay, my advice to you, go to your teachers, Talk to your friends or even their YouTube for help, okay? There are many cre content creators now and the, there are many resources that are available now, okay? So if you don't understand the concept, okay? You need to fill the gap in your understanding before you can move on to the next concept. So keep on practicing and you should be fine, okay? So that is tip number one. Tip number two is have a study plan that works, okay? What I mean by that, okay? First, you need to get a diary, a planner, and start planning from now until the start of the MCA exam. Prioritize which activity you must do, which one you can miss some of them, and which one you can skip all together, okay? So, the next thing, do not leave everything to the last minute and do not cram, okay? If you try to learn everything on the last week of the examination, just before the NCA exam, you will struggle because there are many things to remember. Okay, You need to be well disciplined and be consistent in your study and you need to keep up and be on top of your work throughout the year. So start doing your practice now. Don't wait till the last minute. Okay, okay next thing. Make plans for a suitable and pleasant study place to study before each study session. Is your house suitable to study? If not, is there any other possible place? Is the library or the school or a friend's place? Is that a better place? Think for yourself, okay? Okay, the next one. Do not study like three hours in a row at one go because you need breaks. I suggest have a study period for between 30 to 40 minutes, then take a 10 minutes break and then continue for another 30 to 40 minutes. So that is how I study. And you should do that too, okay? Okay, next one. Find out which study technique works for you. Which one you can retain your information better. To me, mind map works for me, so I study by doing mind map, okay? Maybe you should do things, you prefer to do things like brainstorm session, colored in your notes, put in different markers in your notes, talking with your friends, okay? Or making rhymes and raps, okay? So that will be the different technique you can learn and have a study plan that works. Okay, got it. Good. Next. Tips number three. You need to be in the ping of health. It means that you must always be healthy. Okay, so to do that, you must always eat healthy food like sandwiches, nuts and fruits and drink lots and lots of water. Okay, of course, you need also good rest and good sleep every night. And finally, you still need to exercise to keep yourself healthy and your brain is able to work better when you exercise, okay? Okay, that's tips number three. And tips number four, you need to have a tactical plan, okay? Before your exam, you need to know what are you aiming for? Are you aiming to get an achieve 
or are you aiming for excellence? Okay, for those aiming for achieve, the type of question you should be targeting. Normally, the A and B question of question 1, 2 and 3 are the achieve question and you need to get 5 out of the 6 to get achieved. So make sure you can answer all the achieve question. Okay, for those aiming excellent, should you do all the question or should you just engage in the C, D's and E's, okay? Remember, if you get an excellence in question one, for example, the achieve and merit will not be marked and will not be counted, okay? So you have to have a tactical plan on what you need to do. Okay, great. Last but not least, on the day of the exam, you need to sleep well. Don't have little sleep on the day of the exam. Come to the exam hall at least half an hour before the start time. Check that you get all the documentation ready and all your stationery ready and always stay calm. Make sure you have your pen, your calculator, everything ready before the exam, okay? During the exam, I suggest you do the paper that you find easy first. For example, there are three papers in that standard. Just do the easy one that you like first and then do as fast as you can. Skip the question that you cannot do and come back to them later if you have time okay check the answers i suggest this is very important check your answers by doing the question again most people would like look at the paper and scan through i suggest you do the question again and if you make the mistake again means you, you it's unlikely that you make the mistake twice okay so that is my advice the five advice for you to do well the nca so i repeat again so good luck for your nc exam okay and if you are not doing the ong's way then you are doing the wrong way. Have a good break everyone and see you soon. Cheers everyone.